Hello, Homestead. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Hello, Homestead. I'm Garrett Willis. And I'm Walter Willits. It's Friday, March 23rd, and time for today's episode of HHS In-Depth. On today's show, you'll meet a group of Homestead students who have come together to create Student Voices United, a group dedicated to responding to recent national debates over school security since the Parkland, Florida shooting. There are a handful of students at Homestead that spend part of their days teaching elementary and middle schools as part of Homestead's cadet teaching. You'll hear about their experiences in this class. We'll profile the after-school club, philosophy club, and learn what takes place Place at their meetings. You'll learn about NHS's Color Blast fundraiser that is taking place in May. Joe is in to take a look at this weekend's weather forecast and another weather or not. And I'll bring you the first two-minute drill of the spring sports season. We'll bring you all of those stories and much more, so stay tuned for today's episode of HHS In-Depth. We begin today's show with a story over a group of Homestead students who have created an organization in response to the recent debate of children's safety in schools. Here's reporter Ellie Davis taking a look into Student Voices United. A new organization started by administration called Student Voices United was started to give students the opportunity to voice their opinions and inspire change. A few select students about a month ago got an email from administration encouraging us to attend an open forum seminar where we discussed school safety and how we felt at Homestead. And so after that was over, a group of students stuck around and we just discussed about what we feel like would be best for Homestead as a whole. The main purpose of the club is for students to feel as though they have a voice within everything that's going on. While we necessarily can't achieve safety on our own, if we let our administrators know that we want safety and if we let our representatives know that we want safety, they can ultimately get that for us. The club is made up of representatives from different groups here at Homestead who possess strong leadership qualities. It's a diverse group. It has representatives from Student Government, Unity Club, Young Americans for Freedom, and Young Progressives. So all sides are represented, all opinions are there, and it's just good for the student body. All the members in the coalition got an email from the administration asking for a few leaders from each of their respective clubs to kind of um, reach out throughout Indiana and uh, ask for school safety. As a part of a way to spark change, a letter writing campaign was started to help students get their concerns addressed and hopefully make a change within the state. Student Voices United has a Twitter, it's at StudentsVU, and we started our letter writing campaign and we launched it on the 14th via our Twitter. And the purpose of that is to encourage students, not only at Homestead, but all throughout Indiana, to write letters to their senators, to their legislators and their congressmen, and encourage them to speak for them and enact laws that protect our lives. So with the letter writing campaign, our main focus was to uh, make it as bipartisan and as inclusive as possible for everyone. It's because right now we're the ones being most affected by the violence, but yet we're the most underrepresented. So our goal is to give the voice to the students, give the power to the students, and so we can understand and that the people in office understand that we understand what's going on in the world and we want it to change. If you're interested in improving school safety and other important issues in school, feel free to get involved. There will be boxes shortly in the hallway or you can email any of the people involved with your letters. For HHS In-Depth, I'm Ellie Davis. 
Seniors, if you have any memories you want in the video played at graduation and senior activities day, please email pictures and videos to hhs.graduationvideo at gmail.com. Again, that's hhs.graduationvideo at gmail.com. Fridays are laptop restart days. As you're watching today's show, please be sure to shut down your laptop. Go ahead. I guess I'll wait again. Many of the tech issues students report, such as slow downloads, failure to find a printer you need, and buffering videos can be resolved by doing a full shutdown at the end of each school day. Get out to the Variety Show next Tuesday and Wednesday, March 27th and 28th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 and may be purchased at the door. Want to visit the equator, waterfalls, a famous Latin American market, volcanoes, hot spring, a school, and do a lot more for a week next summer? Homestead Spanish students will have the chance to travel to Ecuador in June of 2019 to improve their Spanish while learning more about this culture of this beautiful country. Stop by and see a Spanish teacher if you'd like more information about the trip. Each year, a group of students who want to become teachers get the opportunity to student teach at Sachs Elementary and Middle Schools. Reporter Sydney Schull takes a look at these students and the experience they get in cadet teaching. Cadet Teaching, or Education Professionals, is a program that Homestead hosts to students interested in learning what's it like to be in the classroom with students as a career. Educational Professionals is a program that we offer at Homestead. Um, you get dual credit at Ivy Tech and you get um, to work with students in elementary or middle school in whatever area you're interested in. Homestead students in the program are able to work with special needs students at any elementary or middle school in the district. They can also choose specific subjects and grade levels depending on their interests. I get to be with Mr. Ginder's son and he teaches third grade so I'm in the third grade classroom from three four block. I am there during the math rotation and I get to do like about two lesson plans per week and the other times I take small groups back. I go to Woodside and I work with the special needs students there and it helped me realize that I really do want to work with them and I've learned so much from my mentor teacher. The cadet teachers are also able to take charge of their classes to get experience in lesson preparation and delivery to students of elementary and middle school ages. I get to do lesson plans and I get to work one-on-one -on -one with the kids and I get to be really immersed in this. I have an awesome teacher I'm with. Um, he's teaching me so much and getting to learn from like an experienced teacher uh, getting to use his advice for different things and just the student interaction is so important and so getting to do this really showed me that I wanted to become a teacher. My favorite part about cadet teaching is my students. I like being able to like get to know them and figure out how they learn. Cadet teaching participants agree this program has helped reassure their decision to pursue a future in education. If you have any questions about the program, speak to your counselor or Mrs. Vale. Reporting for HHS In-Depth, I'm Sydney Scholl. National Honor Society is looking for performers at the annual NHS Coffee House on April 11th from 6 to 8.30 p.m. They are in need of Homestead students with musical ability or hidden talent. Please email Susan Chen for more information. Get out to Homestead's next environmental club on Tuesday, March 27th in Miss Merklin's room, room 206, to plan and prepare for both the rain barrel decorating campaign for the Little Rivers Wetlands Project, as well as the Earth Day resale fundraiser. There's a lot of preparation to do, so all of your help is appreciated. Did you miss the Galapagos meeting last week? Are you interested in traveling to the equator and checking out this bucket list item? Want to see the Galapagos tortoises, penguins, marine iguanas, and Darwin's finches in the wild? This trip to Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands is 11 days of experiencing volcanoes, cloud forests, snorkeling, and lots of fun. Go out to the next informational meeting on Tuesday, March 27th at 6.30 p.m. in Mrs. Vela's room, room 213, to get more information. And now here is reporter Michaela Godfrey with a look into one of our after-school clubs, the Philosophy Club. One of Homestead's newest clubs, Philosophy Club, is a group of students who discusses their beliefs about a variety of topics. Philosophy Club is a place where we all meet to discuss different philosophers and their writings. It's just a club that we started where we just discuss certain philosophers or different topics or just things involving the broad field of philosophy in general. Philosophy Club is a club where anyone can get together. We talk about different topics on life, such as existentialism or love. These students enjoy being able to express their outlook on life in an environment they would normally not be able to. I wanted to be educated on the different perspectives on life, see what other people have to hear, because there's so many opinions on life and different aspects. So I just kind of wanted to get out there, see what people are thinking about, as well as express my own opinion. 
Uh, my favorite part of the club is just talking with friends and strangers I've never met, just all coming together and talking about the hard questions that don't have easy answers. Throughout their meetings, they participate in a variety of activities that expands their knowledge in philosophy. In a typical meeting, we sometimes have guest speakers such as Mr. Yoder coming in and talking. We have group discussions, debates, sometimes we play certain mind games, which is fun. We just sit around and have snacks. In a typical meeting, what we do is we gather around, we have a few announcements, uh, we discuss what it's going to be about, and then from there, depending on what it is, if there's a guest speaker, we'll circle around, or if there's a discussion or a reading, we'll get in a circle on the floor, and then we go from there. The club is open to new members. If you're interested in joining, stop by Dr. Price's room, room 706, after school on Thursdays. For HHS In-Depth, I'm Michaela Godfrey. And now here's reporter Ganit Lalaria with a look at the upcoming fundraiser put on by National Honor Society. The National Honor Society has a special opportunity for Homestead students. NHS board member Matthew Shrek is here to give an inside look on the upcoming Color Blast taking place this May. So Color Blast is going to be similar to a color run. It's going to be a race, a 5K race uh, sponsored by NHS. It'll be over at Summit Middle School on May 12th from 1 to 2 p.m. And the entry fee is $15, and that gets you into the race, and it gets you a shirt. And so then basically what will be happening is throughout the race, there'll be colors thrown at you, and then at the end of the race, you'll have different colors all over your shirt. By participating, students will be able to contribute to a good cause and have fun at the same time. All proceeds will benefit Big Brothers Big Sisters. It's going to be a great event. It should be a great time to come out with friends. And even if you're not a runner or anything like that, it should just be a good time. There'll be whip and chill there so that a food truck will be out there. And it's only an hour of your time, and it goes for a good cause. If you have any questions regarding the Color Blast, contact Susan Chen through her school email. Reporting for HHS In-Depth, I'm Lenny Alaria. And now Garrett Willis heads over to the set of the Two Minute Drill to bring you the first edition of the spring sports season this week over boys track and field. Hello once again Homestead, I'm Gary Wellis and it's time for the two minute drill. This past week we officially turned over the calendar to spring. While the temperatures may not have changed for the better yet, we are still on the fast track for spring break. Speaking of fast tracks, the boys track and field team has been practicing for nearly a month now and they've already been showcasing their skills in indoor meets. They are today's feature of the week. The Homestead track and field team has been off and running for nearly a month now, and the seniors on the squad have been pleased with the progression of the unit up to this point. We've had a good season up to this point. We've qualified a couple guys for indoor state, which is better than we've done in the past years. So I say, just to that retrospect, we've had a good season up to this point. It's pretty good. We've got a couple guys going to indoor state, and uh, everybody's been performing well. Everybody's having PRs every single meet we go to. So. It's really nice. With so many people on the team, Coach Levensparger has a bit different of a practice format than what you would see with other sports here at Homestead. For the sprinters, a daily practice consists of active warm-up and um, we just stretch on the field. After that, uh, Doman has a workout that we do and if you're in a field event, then you go and work on that after the sprint workout. A daily practice changes every single day. Um, for guys in the distance squad, we do a lot of more well, distance-focused workouts, so we'll do intervals or easy days where sprinters will do more of ladders and different types of workouts to do with like your individual events. Different people on the team have set different goals for the squad as a whole for this postseason, with revenge definitely being a factor playing into goal setting. And goals is to take back our sectionals title. Uh, we were five years in a row, I believe, and uh, we lost it to Wayne last year. Well, the end goal for every sports team here at home is always make it to state, so track is no different. With all the action over the last month, the members of the team have built bonds with each other that will last and with this brings laughable moments. The funniest moment of the season has to be uh, one practice when Will Milne just bit the dust. He was just running and then he just kind of collapsed. It was pretty funny. Uh, when Ryan Burton ran a 59 400 meter. Uh, the funniest thing of the season, uh, seeing Reed Burton's locker. He's got a lot of collectibles from all the runs that the distance guys have gone to. He's got so many weird things in there. There's, we got a lot of printed out pictures of Ezra Swosey in our lockers as well. The team will be back in action tomorrow as they'll be getting on the bus and heading down to Bloomington to compete at the NSR Finals at Indiana University. Congratulations to the gymnastics team for their fifth place finish at State this month, as Homestead also had two athletes in Catherine Milne and Yana Weir named to the first team All-State. 
Also, congratulations to the boys' basketball team for their good showing at the regional two weeks ago. This year is their seventh consecutive 18 win season, and they also claim their fifth straight sectional title. And lastly, good luck to the baseball and softball teams as they start their seasons on Monday against Fishers and New Haven, respectively. Your quote of the week comes from Mike Krzyzewski with him saying, If what you have done yesterday still looks big to you, then you haven't done much today. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Two Minute Drill. I'm Garrett Willis. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the NCAA tournament this weekend. And now it's time for the weekend weather forecast. Here's Joe Swymeller, my man, with another weather or not. Hello, Homestead. Welcome to another fine, fine, fine edition of Weather or Not. Of course, I'm your host, Joe Swymeller, and let's get into the weather right, right now. Right, right now. I'm going. Today will be a pretty sunny day with a high of 46 and a low of 28. Tomorrow we'll see some snow, which is not very fun, with a high of 38 and a low of 26. Sunday will be a pretty cloudy day with a high of 44 and a low of 29. Well, that's all the time I have this week, Homestead. Your quote of the week comes from the late great Cardi B, who's not actually dead, who once told me, Good! Well, see you later, Homestead. Well, Walter, I guess that wraps up this edition of HHS In Depth. I'm Garrett Willis. And I'm Walter Willis. Thank you for watching today. And now here are this week's Pictures of the Week. To have your photo in the running for Picture of the Week, just email us a high-resolution photo in landscape mode with your name and grade level to hhsindepth at gmail.com. Today we leave you with another music video created by Walter with help from Jake Dunn and Joe Swinemiller. Have a great weekend, Homestead, and we'll see you back here next Thursday.
All right, we're uh, we're done here.